Hi there, Furkan, Zil, and all the rest of you good people out there. I hope that you're all safe and sound and that health is with you. Regarding your question on the forum on 3D Connection Space Navigator issue where you want to navigate a narrow or small diameter kind of uh, pathway tube or something like that, 500 millimeters long here in narrow region. And you want to move, use uh, fly mode. Uh, now, uh, I would say that uh, to navigate the fly mode, uh, probably my experience still is the keys is the best. And it's typically working best in, in uh, let's say, um, an engine room of a boat where you want to navigate around, uh, things like that. Uh, now, you seem to want to navigate along a cable or tube, five millimeters. Uh, my idea here would be that would be rather narrow to navigate and would be difficult. Uh, one way you could solve that, um, that would probably help you is to uh, scale your model to something that is uh, much bigger than that. In addition, uh, I do think if you have not updated the latest driver for the 3D Connection uh, Space Navigator, that's a good thing to do and a good, good place to start because that will uh, solve uh, some of the, the the issues. Now, when you are navigating such a small thing that you are, and I'm not sure about uh, what purpose this is, I would assume to kind of uh, record an, uh, a movie or something like that. But uh, so so that's kind of what I've done here. Um, and or what I am about to do. What 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 you could do is um, you can use the um, assembly and sequence. Uh, that could be an option for you. I would believe that that would be something that you would have available to, to you. Excuse me. So uh, here I got this uh, this cube with a hole in it. Let's see if we go to view. Uh, we try to look through this. Uh, we temporarily turn off the fly mode. We can see that I got the tube running through here with some shapes to it coming out on the other side. And uh, that's what I want to do. So I want to fly from the coordinate system down here uh, through the tube. I want to, in this uh, kind of blob I got in the middle there could be a kind of a filter or something I want to do a 360 and then I want to continue navigate out uh, to the end here and uh, then I want to twist or turn my model 180 degrees so I can watch the hole again or approach it on the way back if you like so uh, the way I've done that I'm going to turn on turn off the emphasize there the way I've done that is I've I've done a um, an assembly and a sequence um, so if we look at that sequence uh, I'm do fit there we can see that I got a, a whole bunch of extraction along a path that I have created here uh, and that is just positions along the guide uh, or center line of the or center curve of the tube there if you like uh, I also have uh, in my assembly which is my navigation assembly if you want uh, I have a coordinate system which would be my starting point I'm going to use that for orienting my part uh, I also have uh, in this case a fill surface and that is just to set the zoom factor correct and I will demonstrate that in just a second um, so what we want to do is we want to run this uh, sequence uh, that I got over here. Uh, I will just play it, but in order to play it so that I, I pan myself through that hole, 
I need to set up my view correctly because if I play that over here, let's see. If I play that, let's play that 10. So it's a little bit faster. You can see what's going to happen if I have this zoomed out and, and no fly mode on. We can see that. So in relation to this coordinate system, uh, I'm going to navigate through a um, through that hole. Uh, do a 360 in the middle there in the in the blob or filter in the middle there if you like and then I continue along the uh, guide there uh, When I come out on the other side, I'm going to twist and turn that around so that I can see my hole So that means I will have my window will be the uh, X and Y plane here if you like But in order to set this correct, I need to set up the model. So I got this Super small fill surface based on that uh, uh, sketch there, and that is just to set the zoom factor. So if I say fit, we got everything there. But what I will do, I will set this up uh, correctly first. So let's do that uh, before we start playing this. Um, so uh, if I under uh, view operation and I say orient. And I say I want to orient that to an existing coordinate system. I want to use the one I have there. We're going to be aligned with that. Uh, I also want to set the zoom factor here. So I'm selecting that fill surface because that's going to say the size. So I'm going to use the fit to selection. And there we go. So we, no we are now set up and we do no longer need these, uh, these two guys here. And that means that I should be able to play my uh, play my video here or, or play the sequence. But I remember one thing here. We're not in fly mode. We need to turn on the fly mode first. So let's do that. And uh, I should have done that before I uh, turn these guys off. So I will do that again. So under view operation and orient, I can orient my view according to an existing coordinate system, which is the one here. Uh, I can also select this uh, little surface here, which decides the zoom level here, because uh, I'm going to have to have the whole kind of center uh, because I want to kind of navigate through that tube there uh, or pan through it. So I say fit to that. And that set me up to the starting position. So uh, if I now navigate this using the uh, uh, playback of, of the uh, sequence here, uh, that should take me through the hole and, and uh, uh, the sequence described. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pan and zoom through that hole uh, along that path. When I come to the second blob, which would be, let's say, a filter, I'm going to turn around 360 and then I'm going to continue along that path until I'm out on the other side of this cube. And then I'm going to turn that 180 degrees so I can look back into the hole and potentially I would be able to start to navigate back. But I'm, going to, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stop there. So uh, let's do that. We push play and we're going to do that at speed six here. And uh, let's play to see where, what it looks like. So we're approaching the hole in fly mode. I can see that I haven't drilled that hole or I haven't done that through. Uh, we're moving through uh, a textured inner of this tube, if you like. We're approaching kind of the filter or the center blob where we stop and we look around. Uh, so we pan around and do a 360. Uh, all the way around 360 and uh, once we have looked around that environment we're going to continue down the pipe and uh, we continue down the pipe all the way until we exit the cube on the other side here and this I could have gone a little bit further because now it's turning it around uh, 180 degrees so it's setting me up for going back into the hole and uh, go the same path back if you like okay so uh, an idea here would be to use um, uh, to use sequence because I think you got that available to you uh, if it is a movie you want to uh, record that is 
Okay, that's just all I wanted to convey for this evening. So uh, all you good people out there, I hope that you're all safe and sound and uh, you will continue having good health. And uh, with that, I'm going to leave you for tonight. So uh, wherever you are, good night, uh, good morning, good day, good evening. Uh, wherever you are, uh, over and off from Fred. Bye for now.